Yeah, it's probably one of the one of the biggest challenges and one of the biggest successes as well. Um, certainly, looking back now on my career, I'm really happy that I got to spend that time traveling, racing with my father, and having him as my coach. And and he was one of the best coaches in the world, which was which made that fortunate. I mean, it made a lot easier. Um, it certainly changed the dynamic of, of our relationship. Um, we went from being sort of father and son, being told what to do 24 hours a day, to me moving out at quite a young age to get away from that whole that whole setup. So um, he ended up becoming probably more of a coach athlete relationship, and we had a great working relationship for the whole time. So you look pretty amazing the last 20 years with your dad as a coach and, and having him through the whole journey. But certainly when I look back now, something I'm really, really fortunate to have and proud. And I think one of the happiest days in my life was getting to induct him into the Triathlon Hall of Fame, which was just a beautiful night and great to see him come into that legend space within the sport. So, um, yeah, it was very special doing that. I think some of the some of the qualities around triathlon, the, the dedication, the commitment, the ability to work hard, the the, the hundred percent focus has really helped in later life as well. Um, it, it can be challenging at sometimes because sometimes you're a man on a mission. But um, you know, certainly for me, bringing those skills into the workplace environment has certainly separated me out from a lot of people. And when you have that sporting background, you don't need to sell commitment. You don't need to sell dedication. Um, the things that I was lacking was information and knowledge in other areas. So they're the things that I had to go and seek. But as far as can this guy concentrate for long periods of time? Are they are they task focused? Are they dedicated to the cause? Well, you know, I didn't have to go and sell that after trial. I know people knew that. Uh, you don't get to be good at sport if you if you don't haven't got those type of qualities. But uh, absolutely a lot of transferable skills. Yeah, well, I think for my post career, one of the things I was away from the sport for about for about ten years, about seven years, all up, um, and then a new president came in and said, "There's no one on this board who has any high performance experience." And then he contacted me and said, "Can I catch up and have a meeting with him at the little bar?" And and I'd been off doing funds management business and, and enjoying that part of my life and trying to create something that was outside of the sport. And Peter Hedge called me up and said, you know, "Would you be interested in coming on the board?" And I think I said no. At the time, I was quite happy doing what I was doing, but um, the more I thought about it, the more I sort of missed the sport. So I uh, put my hand up for the board role and did that for a few years. And then the CEO role was was interesting. Anne Gripper decided to retire from, or she did a five-year contract, and, and she said that was all she was ever going to do. And that came up about a year out from the Olympic Games or, or nine months out from the Olympic Games. And I thought long and hard about whether I'd put my hat in the ring. So I stepped off the board before I made that decision and then eventually I decided to put in my resume and have a crack at it. It was more a lifestyle choice. I just wanted to get back to doing something I absolutely loved and was very passionate about. And uh, I ended up putting my hand up and it all worked out quite well and I became CEO. So I've been doing that for the last 18 months. And, uh, you know, it was, but it was right before Rio. So everyone was pretty much locked in place into Rio as far as high performance was concerned. Um, so it was an interesting process to watch all that unfold. And then, you know, this term round, we get a chance to go in and make some changes. And uh, so far, it's been great fun. But, uh, you know, loving a new role and loving being back involved in the sport.